It is that time of year. You think about the beach, you think about the bathing suit, you oh, say, no, oh my that. goodness, oh. this isn't going to work. <laughs> so you may have come across in your web searches of how do I lose weight? A popular ketogenic diet, also called the keto diet. A quick social media search yields thousands of posts about high fat, low carb trend. That's the key, it's a trend. But the backstory of the keto diet has nothing to do with vanity. As Liza Lucas explains, the treatment was first used to help children suffering from seizures. Hmm. Maddox is your typical three-year-old who loves Thomas the Train and has grown accustomed to his checkups. But at only a few months old, a health scare sent Maddox and his mom to the emergency room. When he was um, seven months old, he had his first seizure. Aaron Reeves used to work as a nurse with epilepsy patients, so knows the signs. But despite medication, Maddox wasn't getting better. He had over 22 seizures within a weekend. So she turned to her former colleagues at Children's Health Care of Atlanta for help. Doctors putting Maddox on the ketogenic diet, a regimen dating back to the 1920s to treat kids with epilepsy. I knew this stuff, but I didn't realize how much of a life change it would be. That's because the keto diet therapy is way more involved than what you'd find via Google. A high fat, low carb balance that means a lot of whipping cream, butter, and hot dogs for kids, requiring air and measure every morsel Maddox eats. In fact, it's so strict, cheating is out of the question. One cheat could mean a seizure for us. Experts aren't 100% sure why the keto diet stops seizures, but the theory is it mimics starvation. The thought is when the body is starving that the extra firing that's going on in the brain causing the seizure slows down. For Maddox, allowing him to wean off medication and become seizure free. But unlike the usual start and stop of the newest diet, this is different for families. I think cutting carbs out anywhere, you're gonna lose weight. But what we do for these kiddos that have epilepsy is totally different. It's not just a diet. It's a really interesting diet. Oh my goodness. It's missing so many of the nutrients, oh. but apparently it's helping with those uh, very debilitating seizures. Now, Children's Health Care of Atlanta CHOA says that keto diet isn't a one-size-fits-all treatment for epilepsy patients, but the diet works in approximately half of the children with intractable epilepsy.